Good afternoon, welcome to Walk on Wall Street. Stocks uh, this afternoon in the US are trying to bounce after yesterday's uh, steep decline. Uh, the Nasdaq was down 4% uh, for its weakest since December 2020 in uh, Tuesday's trade. The S&P down 2.8% uh, as well. We get a bit of a bounce here, you can just see trying to hold this trend at the moment uh, on the Dow and uh, on the US Tech 100, that's the Nasdaq 100, you can just see on the daily candle here, uh, we are just trying to bounce. Uh, on uh, on that Fibonacci level. Um, a bit of a bounce, but not any great appetite. I think uh, investors, certainly institutional investors, remaining very cautious on any rallies at the moment. The bear market um, and momentum still in play. Um, elsewhere, uh, we've had a bunch of corporate earnings coming out. Uh, Boeing missed uh, expectations. It's also pausing its 777X uh, production. Delivery is not expected until uh, 2025. So shares in Boeing were off. That will affect the Dow. Um, we've also had updates from Visa, a very strong quarter. They've seen no impact from Russia. Now, that, that was 4% of their business, yet they've seen no impact despite sanctions. So Visa, very strong, and the shares are up 8% in early trade. Um, keep an eye also, of course, on Tesla after its 12% uh, decline yesterday on fears that Elon Musk might be selling um, some stock in order to uh, finance the Twitter deal. Um, elsewhere, we've had Euro dollar um, making a new five year low. You can see there on a 105 handle. Um, all the chatter at the moment is on the potential parity uh, between the euro and the dollar. Now we've been here before back in 2017, it was very much a chatter around parity and it didn't quite get there, it got to about 103, uh, but it does look like we could be in for further weakness, um, although we are looking, uh, starting to look very oversold on the, on the daily charts. Um, cable in a similar position, again making a fresh uh, 19 month low today and it is suffering as well just dollar strength just doing uh, 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 steamrolling everyone out of the way finally commodities uh, crude oil if we can find it there it had been higher it was up at one or two just back under a hundred dollars now uh, all these sort of growth fears still uh, very much capping um, capping uh, demand for oil and fears about what's happening in China new mass testing being rolled out in new provinces new cities uh, and fears are that the whole country could be heading towards lockdown and the growth rates are stalling there in the world's largest crude importer um, nevertheless the market does remain very tight and we're looking at um, what the uh, inventory data will tell us later that's it for now we'll have more later